Hello and welcome to a special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. At the end of this tutorial, we'll learn how to animate a waterfall. Let's begin by pressing Ctrl N to create a new document. Start by selecting the oval shortcut key O. Hold Shift and draw a proper circle. Now delete its outline. Let us convert it into a symbol. Use the symbol type graphic. Now let us go inside the symbol. Once again, convert it into a symbol for the second time. The type is graphic. Now let us go inside the symbol and make some changes. Select the eraser tool and erase the outer portion. Now this shape will work as the flow of water. We'll now make any desired changes in the shape. The distortion shouldn't be too much. The reason of the distortion is to add the effect of water when we animate it. The shape is done. We have added a new layer and over that Copy and paste in place. Copy it from the previous layer and go to the new layer and paste it on the same position. You have already studied in earlier tutorials that we can paste in the exact place where we copy from by using Ctrl plus Shift plus V. After that, we lock the layer. Now click on the original shape and use Ctrl plus Alt plus S. We'll see a scale and rotate dialog box and we increase it by 1%, which means we insert a value of 101 into it. We made the color black, and now we are adjusting the drawing. We are making thick and thin lines. These borders will act as an outline for our water flow. We edit this till we get the satisfactory result. This depends on the artist or the requirement in the animation. Here, we come out of the symbol, go to the 50th frame and insert a second keyframe. We apply Motion Twin. Go to the Window option, select the Properties and in the Rotate option where the Auto command is present, we select CCW and assign Anti-Clockwise Rotation for a single time. Now you can see from the 1st to 50th frame, our shape is rotating in just 2 seconds. Now place the object in the top right portion and create multiple copies. We are making duplicates of it. The shortcut key is Ctrl plus D. We have created 6-7 duplicates of it and are placing them one after the other. All of these being the same shape, if we edit the first, the changes automatically apply to the rest. Hence. We have put aside one shape. Now we are changing the distance and also the time of every shape. So that when they rotate, they will start rotating at different times. Even if there are 10 duplicates, the time for each shape will be different. The reason for making the timing different is to help us get a better feel of water flow. We'll see how shortly. Select every shape which is in a line and squeeze them a bit. Now we are again making duplicates using Alt key and dragging them as we all know. We have placed the same objects again to the right. However, we'll make slight time variations. Earlier, we could see these objects rotating but 
we couldn't get the feel of water. For this, we'll press Ctrl plus Shift plus W, that is the work area. This shows us how the final frame looks like in the preview. We can toggle it using Ctrl plus Shift plus W, which locks it. Now we have got the shape which we used for editing. We have added a new layer and shifted it on a new layer. Here, we can see a close shot of the waterfall. And here, we can see the starting area of a waterfall. This is a close shot of the same, which is looking good. Now, whatever editing is required, it will be done on this shape itself. Now in the symbol, we make the black portion white. This will give us the effect of bubbles being created in the waterfall. This white color has been applied to all the symbols. We are using the fill color in such a way that it matches the color of actual water. Please study the video. Using enter, we can see the preview, which we have not seen so far. After we have locked it, as you can see, an effect of slow water can be seen. The waterfall is working well. Now let us make the background color dark blue, so that it will enhance the look of the waterfall. Using the brush stroke, we are going to add a few elements in the symbol. We can get the effect of small droplets over here. We can see the drops of water in the waterfall which make it look more realistic. We are doing all this editing on the new layer itself. Let us add more water droplets. After we have added changes to the outer part, we add changes to the inner part of the waterfall too, which are visible here. Very minute editing can help change the final look quite a bit. Let us save the file. We are now watching the preview. We can add many duplicates even now and change their time. 15 and even though there are two duplicates, they will look alike. We shall make these changes till we get the result we want. Change the height a little, see if there is any variation making duplicates and varying their timing. It is an extremely easy technique and we are getting a very good result out of it. We can see a very nice look now. There is just one more thing. In the right side, we have added a duplicate and are changing its time. Here we have a beautiful animated waterfall. Hope you found this tutorial from Aroha Media useful. Thank you.